Good afternoon, everyone. This is Dr. Kemi Olunlayer. Thank you so much for joining. The whole essence of it was that I'm going to reopen the Mobad case because of the toxicology test that we discovered there were discrepancies on. The Nigerian that owns the toxicology lab in Pennsylvania, the middle lab that sent the toxicology test to NMS, NMS only put it on letterhead. We noticed so many things, and even the date was not in American format. It was in Nigerian format. It is a forgery, and it's not Mobad's toxicology test. They messed it up. Now, chances of getting a good tox test now is very late. This is almost 10 months into Mobad's death. We will do an autopsy anyway. According to the father, Brekete is going to do an autopsy. I haven't spoken to Mobad's father since I interviewed him, and I can't reach him very easily, and I'm sure he's a busy man. So I just wanted to let you guys know that the toxicology test is forged, and I'm going to write the Lagos State Government. What we have right now is a middle lab who did the test and sent the results to NMS who used their letterhead to put it out so that it can look like it was from an American company. This is total fraud. That lab in Jonestown, Pennsylvania is owned by a Nigerian by the name of Dr. Richard Somari. Dr. Somari is also the director of the DNA and Forensic Center in Lagos. So we have a problem there. Why was it taken to America? If anything was taken, I told you nothing was taken to America. That's it on the DNA. The second thing is Yabo Ju has been arrested by the NSA. Um, basically, the news came to me while I was live on Facebook, and the news was coming in like, like live while I was on Facebook from a source in Abuja. Yabo was arrested last night in her house and she is with the NSA. Now, you know what that means, right? Did I not tell you this is going to happen? The National Security Agency arrested Yabo Ju last night, the 21st of July, 2024, on suspicion of owning Just Lover. Just Lover has disrupted national security a lot. I told the police this, that Yabo runs that blog and Tonto DK is an admin. I've told them many times. Now they've listened. I told you last week that Yabo is going to prison. I told you. I said, Yabo, you're wishing everybody prison. You're telling me I'll go back to jail. You are going to prison. My words are heavy. The words that come out of my mouth are heavy. And I don't joke around with that. I have reopened the Mobad case because I cannot continue updating something I've closed. New things keep coming out like this toxicology test business. Okay, so please, I need money. I need donations, minimum 500 Naira. All the account numbers are on my Facebook page. I will post them again. Go to the top of my Facebook page. This live I did for seven hours is gonna be up there. The account numbers are gonna be up there. I need money. I got to get the truth out of this mobile stuff. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I'm raising money on a live fundraiser for people to donate to help me unravel this mobile case. I have told you I finished this case. I've told you what I found. I've given it to the police. They need to respond. They need to go to Apple. They need to do all these things because Mobad, okay, has a cause of death and he was stabbed. And he bled, and they were trying to treat him in the house. I'm really hoping this case with Bob Risky, where they arrested Bob Risky for Naira abuse, we know that it's not Naira abuse. Kubana Chief Priest found his way out. Davido was praying last week for hardship, and Balumi was praying at a party. So why Bob Risky? Bob Risky and this connection to homosexuality and this thing VDM said, at the end of the day, it is not my celebration day. I know some of you are congratulating me because I kept saying she owns it. She owns it. It is VDM celebration day because VDM saw what I saw and most of you don't see it. You want to sit down with your queen mother. Now she's queen inmates. Let me tell you something about the National Security Agency. NSA is like DSS. Okay, they work together. When you're arrested by the DSS or the NSA, you're going to spend two years with them. Namdekano has been there how long? Six years? Okay. Be joking, though. It's not the police that arrested this girl, though. It's NSA, National Security Agency. Yabo is a threat to the Nigerian national security. She helps and had knowledge that I was going to be assassinated. She collected money to keep me longer in Port Harcourt prison. She has done atrocities of the worst kind. 
I was telling the story of my prison during the Mobad thing I was doing on Facebook Live. I spoke about every role Yabba played, only to get a phone call from someone in the presidency. I have snitches everywhere that told me I should sit properly. I you sit are you seated well? I said, yeah. I said, is it bad news? He said, no, it's good news. Yabo Ocho has been arrested and she is with the NSA. They have not announced it to the media. So I broke it on the live. I've posted it on my school Twitter. I've posted it on my YouTube and I'm doing this on TikTok. I'm really hoping the real reason they arrested her is many. Aside from Gist Lover, which I told you guys, I said Yabo runs Gist Lover. My son opened her phone when she was giving us her number and saw Gist Lover inside that phone. I'll post that picture now. And I also told you that when Gist Lover was going live with Yabo, okay, excuse me, when Yabo was going live with the DJ of Marlian House, who said they poisoned him, Gist Lover also went live at the very same time, meaning that the phone filming for Gist Lover was in that room. Meaning that Tonto was holding the phone. I mean, really. You know, Tonto and Yabo went to see Mobad's mother. Then they went to the DJ's house. So the person had the phone. VDM already told you that. He was in the police thing. And somebody snapped him and he was on Gist Lover. So who was inside there? Was it not Tonto? Tonto and Yabo run Gist Lover. So please, the conversation I had with Yabo on Gist Lover, she didn't think I knew it was her on Tonto. She was saying nice things about Tonto. But she's such a nice girl. But I said she's a drug addict. And she needs to stop using the drugs. I have that conversation before I left Nigeria. So this afternoon, that's all I have. I'm tired. Seven hours. I'm going to get something to eat. I'm showering and I'm going to bed. I don't have much to say. I've been sitting seven hours online. Hi, Daniel. How are you? I've been sitting. That's my neighbor. I've been sitting seven hours online and Yapocho has been arrested by the NSA on orders of Mr. Nuhu Ribadu. So let's see what's going to happen. Paulo, my condolences to you. I don't know what to say, but she, he, Paulo was with the wrong woman. Uh, Queen Mother Slaves, I hope you can go and bail her out because NSA doesn't do bail. All right. DSS doesn't do bail. What they do is they take you to court for a hearing, and when the hearing is over, my neighbors are making noise, they're young men. Okay, so when the hearing is over, it's either you get bail or you get kept there. Average person in DSS and NSA, two years. They will not pull up all the files of this lover. Everybody that this lover has harmed, including that police officer, what's her name, in Kirun Woody. The one that they went to post all her family in America and their house and their address and everything. Yapa was posting my address, my phone number, and just love her, spreading it after I did so, and laughing in, in her profile name in the emojis in the comments. Imagine what? I fled Nigeria because of that, and now it's Yabo. Is that surprising to you? Thank you for watching. Love you. Please go and donate. I can't post account numbers on TikTok. They don't allow it. I don't know why. But please, I need donations. You can go to my YouTube in the community post. Just go to Facebook. It's there. Facebook.com slash Kemi Olunoye. Kemi Talks Facebook. I need to get on on Mubat's case. Oh, yeah. What I was saying about Bobriski is like, even though Bobriski was taken for Naira abuse, we know it's a bigger problem that they took him for. I'm hoping the reason Yabo was arrested was the link to the Mubat case. The link to the Mubat case. I've accused Mubat. Yabo as a suspect, and I've accused her as obstructing justice. Obstruction of justice is a big thing. Nigerian government, knowing them, they won't tell you exactly why they arrested you. It could be for that more bad case, and that's what I'm expecting. Just love is just the icing on the cake. Thanks for listening. Have a good one. The time now is almost 5 o'clock in Nigeria. I'm just going to rest because I'm tired. Seven hours on Facebook Live. I need to go find out if somebody was 12 hours on Facebook Live. Well, somebody would have passed that anyway. Seven hours talking. So that's it for now. Thank you so much. Donate. See, my phones are ringing all over.